Well, hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home, and welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome if you're here all the time. Um, today I have got a planning video for you. It's not so much a planning, but as much as it is, let me show you this planner I made. <laughs> um, we are going to Disney World, and we are leaving in about a month and a half, and we are so excited. This will be our first trip ever really as a family going on like a big vacation kind of thing. Um, my husband and my kiddos have never been to Disney and I've been one time, one day for a few hours in 2000. Um, my best friend and I went to Florida and we went with her, um, her family, they were going. And a funny thing about that trip is her mom was having needed back surgery and her back was really bad so she flew to Florida. And my best friend, her brother, and I rode in the back of a pickup truck with a cab on the back in March because um, we were going for spring break. Our school was out on spring break. And um, her stepdad and his friend were driving down um, the truck hauling their Harleys and they were going down for bike week. And so we rode in the back of a pickup truck to... Florida and it was crazy. Her grandma worked there and we went for a few hours and it really was super magical. So I'm excited for this trip. We're going to have so much fun. I can't wait and planning it has been um, all kinds of fun. So anyways, I'm going to share with you the planner that I put together. Um, I am the type of person who just really likes to make a lot of lists. I'm a list maker at heart more than I am um, filling out all kinds of boxes and things like that. Um, so I kind of designed this for that sort of thinking, lots of brain dumping and things of that nature. So it's really simple, but it's totally Totally me I love it um, so anyways let me share with you my planner okay so here is my Disney binder this particular binder is from Walmart it's the pen and gear brand and I love these binders they are really nice quality um, one thing that I love is that they have a cover on the front that you can slip your own design into um, and I, I really love doing that. I have one of these binders for my homeschool planner and it, they just hold up really, really well. I also like that on the side, you can change out the label here. This actually was originally the pen and gear label. Um, kind of, you know, have their logo here and I just flipped it over um, to have this blank spot and eventually I'll put some kind of marking to say that this is my Walt Disney World planner here on the side, but for now I just flipped it over so that it's white. So this is the cover that I made. Um, it's our Walt Disney World planner and I have this big logo of Mickey and it just he seems like so happy and bursting through and I don't know, it just makes me happy. So um, let's get inside. So here's a little look at the binder itself. Here's what I mean about the um, the label. I just flipped it over right here and it kind of just slides in and out. And on the side here, they've got this nice clear uh, folder. And I have this countdown page printed that I found from Pinterest. And I'll just cut this out and then I'll laminate it. And I think I'm just gonna stick it on the fridge um, and then the kiddos can change the date um, or how many days there is. Okay, so the first page um, is our, you know, the same as the cover page. I put all of the pages inside of sheet protectors. So this first page is our Disney details. Um, and I have, I put the year here. If we t go to Disney World again, which I'm really hoping is going to be our plan, um, I can just update the date uh, on my computer and reprint the page and of course the dates that we're going to be um, on our trip. I put all of our family names here at the bottom and in this area I'm thinking that I'm probably going to put the reason why we're going to Disney. So this trip for us is a really special trip. Um, the reason that we're going is our son Hart, uh, he was stillborn and with the money that we received for his life insurance, uh, we decided to pay for our trip to Disney World. And the first day that we'll be in the park, which is March 3rd, uh, was his due date. And it's been a really difficult time for our family. And we have just decided to 
celebrate the time that we did have with him and celebrate his life and what it means for our family with this amazing trip to Disney. And um, so we have some special things planned for that first day in the park to kind of honor his life. And as we kind of go along, I'll, I'll point some of those things out. But so I think that for this part here, I'm going to kind of just touch on that um, special little story about our son, Hart. And um, it'll be part of our Disney details. So that is that page. And I think maybe in, in following years when... Um, Maybe we just don't have a reason other than we want to go have fun. Um, I might just put like confirmation numbers for our um, resort or anything kind of important about that particular trip. We'll just go right here. So next is this um, image of Walt Disney. And he is saying, wishing you a very happy visit while at Disneyland Walt Disney. And we're going to Disney World, but I think his sentiment would be the same uh, for Walt Disney World. So um, I kind of just really liked having that in here. Okay, so this page is our Disney important numbers. And so here I'll probably put confirmation numbers, any telephone numbers, um, information for our Disney travel agent, just all of that important stuff are going to live right here. And on the back of each page, I added a sheet that says more Disney details and I added um, a Minnie Mouse icon here. So um, I have a feeling that some of these pages will I'll need to write on the back and rather than just leave a blank page I just um, created this more Disney details and I've basically backed most of the pages with this page and then it gives me a whole bunch more lines I get to use mini mouse and um, with just a generic title of more Disney details I can use it on any page that I see fit. So this page is our Disney trip info. So places that the places we're gonna stay and um, just any other kind of pertinent information that I want to record about our trip will go on this page. And this is um, Disney Resort, and I want to put you know things about our Disney Resort. Um, but here I want to include some of the special features about our resort and just different things that I don't want to live in my mom brain because I am very forgetful, and um, I just you know, kind of want to all have it in one place. I know that we can always access our phones and the internet pretty much at the drop of a hat, but for me, it's just always so much more helpful to have things written down. I retain information so much better. Because we live in Canada, I'm actually an American living here, but um, because we live in Canada, um, we will not actually have access to the internet as we're traveling. So we would have to use data and um, it's just easier to have some of these things kind of written down for those purposes. So this is a Disney mom info. So there's just some things that are gonna be pertinent for Mala to need to know. Things about like stroller rental, if we end up doing that. Our son just turned five. Um, I don't know if we'd need a stroller for him. If we do decide to get one in the park, we'll probably just do that kind of thing. Um, but just any info that Mama might need to know um, to make the trip a little bit better for her family. And then this page I put near the front, don't forget. So this will be things um, that I don't want to forget to do before we leave or things that we want to see or things that I just pertain to our trip that we need to make happen. And so for our trip overview, ideas of maybe where we want to stop um, for the night and um, you know things that we may want to see along the way, the dates that we want to leave and just all of that kind of stuff on the trip overview. And for some reason, I actually printed two of these. So I just decided to put um, the other one in here for, you know, because I had it. <laughs> so then I got a couple of folders. Um, these I just picked up at the dollar store as well. They're the, kind of these poly coated um, folders. And eventually maybe I might add some vinyl to it with my Cricut and add a few Disney little details onto the folders, but for now they're just blank. And then I've got um, a Disney planning sheet and this is just for any thoughts that kind of pop into my head as far as um, things that I want to look into uh, for our planning purposes. And this is to do before Disney. Like I said, we have got a lot of stuff that we need to make happen before we leave. Um, 
just even just with traveling, make sure our vehicle's ready to go, um, things to prepare our house, and um, we homeschool, so I wanna make sure that certain things are done before we leave, and if we were bringing curriculum and all the things. So this is just a sheet to help my mom brain remember, because y'all, I just, I am just a forgetful person, and I need, I need a good planner. <laughs> Okay, and so this sheet you'll see later in the planner as well, but this is our Disney must buy page. And um, this is stuff that I wanna make sure that we get before we leave on our trip. So things like rain ponchos and any snacks and just whatever we're gonna need for our traveling, um, I wanna make sure that we get before we get down to Florida. And this sheet is Disney Extra Magic. So um, this is just ideas to make our trip just a little bit more magical, even just beyond going you know, to Disney each day. Um, just special things like whether we give our kiddos like little treats in the car um, for Mickey or um, I don't know, just all of those extra magic type things. I had thought of about like having like an in-room celebration um, to celebrate our son. Um, who passed away, um, just things like that. These are just, it's just a spot to put ideas. I don't know if I'll go through them, but um, sometimes I found also in my researching and planning of our trip, I have found lots of really great ideas on Pinterest that I would love to do one day and maybe it not, might not be for this trip, but like I said, I hope that we are becoming Disney people and that we will go at least once a year um, and so I want to have these sheets for later when I, you know, we're ready to plan a trip and I've got all of this idea, all of these ideas already recorded in my Disney binder. And I'm sure if you're a Disney lover, the idea of opening a binder and seeing all this exciting, fun planning stuff just makes you excited. I have a feeling that's probably why you're even watching this video because you love Disney too and you love planning. So I think you probably get it. Okay, so now we're moving into the packing list. And initially, I think I created this page um, and I just, I tweaked it a teeny bit um, and I had already printed it. So, um, and this is just, you know, a packing list page. Um, and this is what I did to kind of change that page up. I added these two boxes here so that I could specify what the packing list was for. We're a family of four um, and like I said we are traveling for several days and we also have our dogs that are coming with us and so we've got a lot of stuff to pack. So my thought is that I will just write who the packing list is for and then I also um, want to make sure that we have a list of items to bring into our hotel each night. Um, I found that when we travel and we stay in a hotel um, I just like to have a small bag that I bring into the hotel with toiletries and pajamas and an outfit for the next day. We don't need to bring in our entire luggage. So I want to have a packing list for those things. And um, so there's packing lists for each person and um, a few different, you know, things that I want to make sure that we have all the dogs gear and things for our vehicle and all the things. Um, as part of this, we're probably going to stop and see my family in Pennsylvania. So there's things that I want to bring for them. So just lots and lots of packing lists. <laughs> okay. So this is our Disney outfits. Um, we have some t-shirt ideas and different things that we want to wear, so I just kind of want to record that and kind of brain dump it all out because I don't want it to live in my brain. I just want to get it out, and then when I go to actually plan everything for each day, I will can reference this sort of sheet and see what we're thinking and wanting to do. One thing that I've been obsessed with watching on YouTube is Disney park bag videos. I love to see what people carry in their park bags and what their park bags look like. So um, this is where I will write down everything that I want to make sure that we have for our park bags so that we, you know, have the things that we will need to make our trip into the parks comfortable and, and good. So it's so a Disney park bag. And then our Mickey ears. So one of the funnest things has been thinking about all the Mickey ears that we either want to buy or that we want to wear. Um, a friend of mine, hey Holly, <laughs> um, she's gifting our family Winnie the Pooh ears. When our son passed away, we used Winnie the Pooh graphics uh, for his 
memorial service, um, little cards and bulletins and different things like that. We're gonna do um, the Winnie the Pooh breakfast on our first day at the park, which would have been his due date. And so my friend Holly is gifting us um, Mickey or Winnie the Pooh Mickey ears. Um, and so I'm so excited about that. So I want to kind of record those details. Um, I'm a huge Peter Pan fan. He is my favorite and I'd love to get some Peter Pan ears and my husband wants to get some a Mickey hat with ears. So just, I want to put all of those details down so that we can be on the lookout for that stuff. We can order it um, and we can wear it into the parks. And Okay, so this is our transportation page, and here I'll probably write details about um, our trip, making sure that, you know, the oil's changed, that we've got um, the fluids that we need in the truck, and um, just different things about, you know, our truck and traveling and places maybe to stop and, and things like that. So that is our transportation. Um, and then I went ahead and I added another folder here. Um, I could have just done, like, tabbed dividers but I didn't have any and these work kind of really nice and then I'm able to tuck anything inside of the folders but this kind of moves into a new section of the planner so this is more of our um, actual trip while we were at Disney World um, so this sheet is our Disney daily plan and my thought for this is that I'm going to just write out each day that we're going to be at the park and our fast passes and our dining reservations um, we're going to we don't have park hoppers, so we're just, you know, going to stay in a particular park each day, and I want to just have all of that information here on this sheet. Um, I do have it kind of written in a note on my phone, and I've got the My Disney Experience app where I can always look at our touring plans, but um, for me, again, it's just so much easier to have it in this sheet where I can kind of look at it as I'm planning rather than always, like finding my phone referencing that information there I can just flip open my planner because likely as soon as I'm done with this video I'm going to be filling these pages out and I cannot wait so this will be one that I know I'm going to reference all of the time and so this is our Disney arrival day page and we don't have um a park ticket for our arrival day. We have some different plans that we want to do um, for our arrival day and I want to make sure that I um, kind of map all of that out and um, yeah. Okay so then I've gone ahead and I've done Disney day one and I've gone all the way to day eight because we will be there um, for eight days or yeah, eight days. <laughs> and um, so again, I want to break down our trip in much more detail for each day. So, you know, we know when to leave the resort, um, where we're eating, just different rides that we want to do, things we want to see, and all of the stuff. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I've got Disney Day 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, and eight. This is our Disney depart day, and I just want to write some notes about um, departing and the things that, you know, when we're planning to leave and where we're planning to go and all the things about departure day. Okay, and this is another um, travel sheet, but this is Disney travel specific, where I'm thinking that I'm just going to write any of the info that I need to know about traveling, um, the different systems that the park has to get you places, um, you know, the minivans and all the things. I just kind of want to have all of those little details here and the travel that is at our resort, like what we can hop on to get to the parks um, from our resort. I know I can find, again, I can find that on my phone in while we're at the park, but ahead of time, I really like to just have a game plan and kind of know what we're thinking about and doing. Okay, so then I made a page for the different um, parts of Disney. So we've got Disney Springs. We definitely wanna check out Disney Springs. And on these sheets, I'm gonna add information about things that we wanna see, maybe things we wanna eat or do or whatever. Um, you know, that's the beauty of having a page like this. I can just brain dump and that is so much easier for me than filling out a bunch of boxes that already have, you know, put this here and it's just so much easier to brain dump. So anyways, we've got Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, and Epcot. 
And then I move into Disney dining. So we have purchased the Disney or the dining plan uh, and we've made our reservations and we're good to go. I, I also just want to try and max out like our snack credits and different things and um, there's certain foods we want to try and stuff like that. So uh, the dining pages, I think they're going to hold a lot of really tasty information. <laughs> And then I've got a sheet for fast passes, so um, we can write down all the fast passes that we have and which day. And then I've got a sheet for our magic bands, and I probably um, what I'm going to put on here is um, we. I think we're going to get some different things to put on our magic bands to customize them. Um, so for mine, like I like I mentioned, I love Peter Pan. I think I'm going to either make or buy some little vinyl Peter Pan and Wendy and Michael and John um, flying and put on the the band um, or like a Minnie Mouse bow for the Mickey part of my band. Uh, my kiddos have certain characters they like and they might um, want to get like a little vinyl on, a, on their band. And so just kind of writing down that info, um, Etsy shops that I found that I really like their um, their decals that they put on their bands like some of them are like you know full customization um, and I don't think we'll probably go that route this time but I definitely want to remember it for the future so anyways there's lots of fun things to record about magic bands to customize it to us and so I want to kind of remember that stuff this sheet is for mousekeeping, and I don't think I'll have a whole lot on here, but there are some really cute ideas on Pinterest about how to leave um, a tip for mousekeeping, and I think I'd like to kind of record some of that and maybe tr um, try out some of those kind of DIYs. And this sheet is for our Disney must-dos, all of the things that... Um, we want to make sure that we do while we're in Disney. Um, it's such a big experience, such a big trip, um, and I want to make sure that there are things that we really, really want to do that we do them. Um, we probably won't be able to do everything, but these are like the top things that we really want to make happen while we're at Disney. And then the Disney food to try. So. We're going to have so much fun trying all of these yummy foods that Disney has to offer and I just want to record some of the things that we really want to try. And so this is Disney souvenirs, things that we want to pick up in the parks. I know for me I definitely want like a few um, of those Starbucks mugs. Um, I've collected a few over the years from different um, areas and so I think I want Disney Starbucks mugs and then just lots of shirts and maybe bags and I don't know all the things so um, just some ideas to get us thinking about souvenirs and then this sheet is our Disney must buy sheet I mentioned that this would be I had this earlier in my book and this would be just a spot um, you know for any of those things that uh, we must buy while we're there for me it's it's definitely the Starbucks mugs Okay, so I'm a DIY crafty kind of mama, um, and I definitely want to have some Disney t-shirts. Uh, I have my own Cricut, and I am full on so excited to make t-shirts for our family. Uh, and so this is where I kind of want to write down those ideas and make sure that I buy the SVG files to cut the sh um, the vinyl out or the heat transfer vinyl and make the shirts and you know, all the things and all the sayings and all of that. So it's going to live here on this t-shirt ideas page. And then, like I mentioned, I'm a crafty mama. So this is my Disney DIYs page. Anything that, you know, we want to create for our trip, I want to um, include here. And then this sheet is our Disney countdown. And I had showed you uh, the countdown page that I had already printed but there were some really cute ideas on Pinterest and in the future that would be really kind of fun to, um, to have. So I might record some of those ideas here. And then this sheet is the Disney autographs. I have a few different ideas of how I want to collect autographs and I want to just put those ideas down here. Um, Pinterest has a lot of really cute and creative DIY autograph books and I'm so I'm thinking of going that route with my kiddos for myself I think I'm gonna get um, one of those like a photo mat and have the characters sign the photo mat and then place our picture inside of the um, 
mat when we get home. Uh, and so I just, you know, want to put all that stuff down so that I remember. And then lastly, I've just got a couple pages of more Disney details in case I think of things that didn't quite have a page or a category, which, I mean, it's pretty extensive. I, I don't know. Um, or if I need an extra sheet, like if I run out of one sheet, I can just add this in behind. So this is, um, I printed a couple of those, more Disney details. And then this is a packing list that I found on Pinterest. It's the Essential Walt Disney World packing list um, from the farmgirlgabs.com. And um, I think I'm just gonna use this kind of as a jumping point to make sure that I have a lot of these items packed when I create my own packing list. And then lastly, I just printed a few maps from um, the Disney World website. So I've got Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios, and I think I forgot to print Animal Kingdom and Epcot, but I put them in the back um, because I knew I could reference them quickly. So I did have the sheets in here for Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and all of that. And it would make a lot of sense just to have this map right behind those sheets, but because I don't have these tabbed out, um, I wouldn't be able to find it quickly. Having them at the end, I can I can find them quickly. So that is my Disney planner. Um, a lot of pages, a lot of fun things to think about and dream and and do. And as I mentioned, this will be something that I hope that we use for years to come. We are so excited about this trip and. Um, yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you've got Disney tips, places to go, things to do, all the things, tips and tricks and food to eat and all the things, um, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, like I said, this is our first time and we're excited, but we're noobs. So fill me in with all the Disney details. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.